17 Biggest Celebrity Fitness Body Transformations Number 17. Zac Efron These days it's hard to picture Zac Efron as the teen star of High School Musical. For those who weren't paying attention in the intervening years though, Efron seemed to transform overnight from that beanpole into a man's man. Efron claims that right now he is at his physical peak, and most of it is due to his idolization of Bruce Lee, a fascination with being fast and light. Another major factor Efron claims is the fact that he has Dwayne The Rock Johnson as a gym partner. Nevertheless, Zack says it's taken a lot of determination, hard work, and overcoming old habits to get where he is now. Number 16. Ryan Reynolds Although he's also portrayed more than one superhero, Ryan Reynolds was known for being substantially in shape long before he took on the likes of Deadpool or even the Green Lantern. However, those who have followed his career long enough know that Reynolds used to be a pretty lanky dude and only started getting in extreme shape when his Hollywood star grew bigger. But how did he do it? The answer is disappointingly simple, actually. He says he just eschewed his old diet and lack of exercise routine and actually started caring about his body. Starting with his role in Blade, the actor has put out more than 25 pounds of muscle and shed virtually all of the extra fat on his body. Number 15. Emily Blunt Edge of Tomorrow may have had many fans on the edge of their seats, but a lot of men in the room certainly had to remain sitting for a bit after seeing Emily Blunt on the big screen. The actress got in incredible shape for her role in the Tom Cruise blockbuster, and she trained extremely hard to get there. Her personal trainer, Jason Walsh, said that getting her to a point of real strength was important, because the actress would be carrying around a 50 to 60 pound exoskeleton for a lot of the film. It is also apparently important to the actress to be able to show up Tom Cruise, who is known for maintaining a high level of fitness. The leading actor was impressed by how in shape Blunt was and claimed that no one he's worked with has ever prepared as well as Blunt did for a role. Number 14. Mickey Rourke it's always impressive when an actor previously thought washed up makes a comeback, and doubly so when they do so in such a way that brings them to a new level of fitness at the same time. This was the case for Mickey Rourke, who trained for at least an hour a day in a brutal resistance weight regimen in order to get in shape for the wrestler. Rourke previously entertained a professional career as a boxer, but the years leading up to the wrestler were not kind to him, and he'd lost his fighting figure. Nevertheless, when he took on the character of Randy, the Ram Robinson, Rourke committed his body to the job at hand, and trained with professional wrestlers to get back in shape. Number 13. Chris Hemsworth when you're contracted to play a literal god on the silver screen, you'd better be willing to look the part. Chris Hemsworth didn't shy away from the challenge, and he's become the subject of soccer mom fantasies the world over as a result. Hemsworth actually had to pack on quite a bit of weight in order to gain the muscle mass needed to look like a Norse god, and sources say he did exactly that, gaining more than 30 pounds of lean muscle. He was consuming upwards of 3,500 calories a day, almost double the average daily intake, and even got to nearly 6,000 per day when he was in heavy bulk mode. These were split into between five and six meals, spread just a few hours apart throughout the entire day. Additionally, he picked up a heavy workout routine with an emphasis on building muscle mass. His regimen was so successful, in fact, that he actually had to trim down a bit. He couldn't fit into his Thor costume. Number 12. Chris Evans Speaking of Marvel cinematic heroes, Chris Hemsworth isn't the only leading man who got insane shape for his depiction of a comic book character. Chris Evans, better known as Captain America, got pretty big himself, and probably is the only other star who can rival Hemsworth's sex appeal for the average middle America housewife. Since Evans has been slim most of his life, it was a challenge to get up to size. Evan claims that his workout hit every single muscle in his body, and that he would work two groups together each day, basically destroying those muscles with each session. Surprisingly, he stayed away from cardio for most of his fitness routine, fearing putting a dent in the gains he needed for the muscle mass. Number 11. Jennifer Garner Another, albeit lesser known at this point, body produced by a superhero movie is that of Jennifer Garner, specifically when she was portraying Elektra in 2005. Although the movie got mixed reviews from critics, no one doubted for a second that Garner was in amazing shape, as girls wanted to be her and boys wanted to be in the same room with her. Garner apparently employed a lot of cardio, resistance training, and interval workouts to garner the muscle and fitness needed for the role. She also trained in martial arts to learn the moves for her character needed, and worked out six days a week. Number 10. Mark Wahlberg 
As someone who has always been in pretty decent shape, it might not come as much of a surprise to most people that Mark Wahlberg was able to take his physique to a whole new level for the movie Pain and Gain. Ironically though, his push to be even better was full of both of those things and it certainly wasn't easy. Drawing from his own line of fitness supplements, the actor bounced back from a previous role which required him to slim down and got up to the fighting weight of 212 for Pain and Gain, which was still smaller than his intended size. He then proceeded to train five days a week and ate upwards of 10 meals a day to maintain his size as he turned it into muscle. Number 9. Tom Hardy Having played a bunch of roles which all required him to be in amazing shape in the past few years, Tom Hardy has gotten pretty cut up. The work has paid off though. He's now known for looking great in box office hits such as Mad Max, Fury Road, The Dark Knight Rises, Legend, and more. Most iconic of the lot is probably his portrayal of Bane, and the actor had put on more than 40 pounds since his slim figure in Band of Brothers in order to achieve the physique needed for that role as well as Bronson, where he played a famed boxer. Though other roles required him to trim down, he put on the 30 pounds required for Bane in just three months. Number 8. Demi Moore She's been out of the direct spotlight for a while now, but Demi Moore's transformation from just another sexy starlet to a serious hard body for her 1997 role in G.I. Jane is nothing to shake a stick at. The actress spent hours each day working her body into physical perfection and did so under the tutelage of a real-life Navy SEAL. The stunts she performed in the movie, including her famous single arm push-ups, were all real and all her. Number 7. Bradley Cooper Though the actor has gained mainstream popularity through movies like Limitless and The Hangover, it was his portrayal of sniper legend Chris Kyle in American Sniper which pushed him to his extreme physical limits. In order to get in Navy SEAL shape, Cooper was consuming 8,000 calories per day, eating just about every 55 minutes, and worked out as much as 4 hours each day and every day for months on end. He refused to use hormones or steroids, a common practice for actors who need to get in shape, and instead insisted on achieving the level of fitness he wanted completely naturally. Number 6. Jake Gyllenhaal Though he's played a lot of physically active roles over the years, each of which demanded high levels of fitness, there's probably no role to date which has seen Jake Gyllenhaal in better shape than 2015 Southpaw. Playing a world champion boxer demands physical perfection, and Gyllenhaal didn't shy away from the challenge. He described the role as one hell of a commitment, and says it took effort to get his head in the game. Naturally, much of his workout regimen for the role was focused around boxing, though Gyllenhaal says he hadn't done much boxing in his life before taking on the part. He says he went full training camp mode and got into shape for actual fighting. His training lasted for about half a year and took him from his normal size to that of a cut lean fighting machine. Number 5. Christian Bale most of the items on this list detail stars who got in amazingly fit shape for movie roles, and there are entries about stars who lost a bunch of weight to be more healthy. This one, however, is quite a bit different. If you've seen the 2004 movie masterpiece The Machinist, you'll know what we're referring to. Christian Bale, the muscular hulk of a man who squeezed into a skin-tight suit for his most famous role as Batman, dropped more than 60 pounds, going down to just 120 pounds for his role in the movie. He looks quite reminiscent of a concentration camp survivor in the film. And a Apparently, he achieved this look by ingesting just an apple and a can of tuna each day. Apparently, he was shooting for a loss of 5 more pounds, but was advised to stop by his doctors who stated that he could die if he continued. Number 4. Gerard Butler Few roles are more iconic for their sheer ferocity than Gerard Butler, depiction of King Leonidas in the epic 2006 movie 300. Since the main focus of the movie was somewhat savage and always amazingly fit, Spartans from ancient Greece, Butler had no choice but to attain a level of physical fitness that most can only dream of, in addition to changing his eating habits in order to gain weight which could be forged into lean muscle, Butler adhered to a workout regimen so insane that he claims he doesn't plan on doing it anytime soon or really ever again. The workout consisted of 50 pull-ups, 50 deadlift reps of 135 pounds, 50 push-ups, 50 box jumps, 50 floor wipers, and 50 single arm clean and press reps with 36 pound kettlebells. Number 3. Kirstie Alley most people nowadays may not actually know Kirstie Alley for anything but her Jenny Craig commercials, but she should still be recognized for her achievements nevertheless. The actress and comedian battled weight for more than 20 years, after going into early menopause beginning in 1992. Between 2004 and 2007, the starlet lost more than 75 pounds. After parting ways with Jenny Craig, Alley regained 83 pounds, bringing her weight up to 228. Subsequently, she lost more than 100 pounds, announcing the loss in 2011. She's kept the weight off since and has gone back to her roots by once again becoming a spokesperson for Jenny Craig in 2014. Number 2. 
Chris Pratt As someone who pushed their way into stardom as a lovable goof, it's kind of weird to think of Chris Pratt as a Hollywood hunk. However, that's exactly what he's become since his tenure on Parks and Recreation came to a close, and his most recent roles have caused the previously flabby star to get into the best shape of his life. From Jurassic Park to joining the ranks of Marvel Elite as a Guardian of the Galaxy, Pratt is now taking on parts which set him closer to Chris Evans than Chris Farley. But how exactly did he actually get into that ridiculous shape? Well, for one thing, Pratt claims he completely laid off beer for six months. Instead, he drank endless amounts of water and took on the help of both a personal trainer and a nutritionist. Number 1. Hugh Jackman Anyone who has followed the rocket-like success of the X-Men movie franchise knows that its star Hugh Jackman has gone into absurdly good shape for his role as the Wolverine. Many people have sought answers as to what his secret is for maintaining such a crazy level of fitness for the movies, but Jackman often has to disappoint fans and friends alike when he reveals that there's no real secret. Regarding his routine, Jackman says, I do about an hour of training a day and ride my bike everywhere, but I do about two and a half hours of training a day when getting ready for the role, and specifically cites that he watches his diet closely. Contrary to what most believe about fitness though, for Wolverine, it's just as important to maintain and even gain weight than to lose it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.